Hello, this is Trump with Trump Tells the Truth. People have been, been mad at me because I'm interfering in other people's elections. Yeah, it's true. I'm from Norway. So why do I interfere with the American election? I do that because election in your country have has some usually has some impact on our country when it comes to defense, environment, laws, terror, and so on and so on. If we didn't have well, for Bush in 2000, maybe we should not have to send soldiers to Afghanistan and Iraq. You spend a lot of money on bullshit, but we did. If Trump had been elected in 2020, a lot of laws would be quite different. A lot of things would be quite different. So all the elections you do affect us. That's why I'm going to piss up some, some people on the left in the United States. On Facebook is a group called themselves at the Capitalist League. And even if I agree with some of their stance on things, I'm still not going to listen to them. And I hope you're not going to listen to them either. Again, I wish the United States had another system than the two-party system, but it don't. So if you're not going to do anything to stop if you're from a two-party system, not voting is not an option. Is Democrats as warlike as the Republicans? Yeah, I will say they are. They were Democratic president who started the the war in Vietnam. Who went on and on and on and on. So yeah, I don't think Democrats is even better. Uh, on a lot of issues, Biden is not very good with people black. Uh, when it comes to Clinton administration, put a lot of tons of prison up and so on and so on. You have two parties to the right, and nobody of them are right, but some, one of them is more right than the other. If we, people boycott election because Democrats are hypocrites, I will, we will get fascists. So better hypocritical people than fascist people. It's better in environmental politics than no environmental politics. It's better with women's rights than, yes, no women's rights. That is a hard fact to swallow. And sometimes you don't have to be happy because you have to choose something. I'm not always happy with all the choices I did. Sometimes I have to choose things even though I'm not happy with it. When I, people ask me, why do you did that job and that job and that job? I didn't because I didn't survive. It was necessary. Was it my dream? No, it wasn't. Can I hold up the better standards? Yes. And that is all everywhere. Even artists, you movie stars, Sometimes they roll just for the money. Your favorite artist had done something strange, general job for music they don't like because they need the money. You sometimes just need to vote politics because, yes, it's better, better than the worst. It doesn't say it's good, but it's better than the worst. I know that's not happy because you, everybody thinks they're gonna have it. Would like to go to the polls and vote for something, and yes, it's gonna be hella fucking hallelujah, like new cool Britannia was watching the nineties again. But it's not, and that's a fucking fact of life. I know there are some fucking capitalist bastards in the Democratic Party, and I know Kamala Harris is a hypocrite when it comes to Israel and Gaza. But she again, you have two choices, and if one is better than the other. I know that's hard to swallow. And even the people on the left, you know, says we should, we should be being there and we should be there. And that's sometimes holy bullshit about the left. They wanted a war that they didn't create. So they still try to do it. They have no plan B. They have no plan how to create the world they want. So just being against everything, boycott every election, don't help them. The Social Democratic Party in Norway built what we call most of the state we have today. And they didn't need, because they left the revolutionary idea, they did compromises and they went into fucking government. So it is possible. It takes a lot of work and time, but it's possible. But when you have a system where that I thought even uh, an option, you just have to work inside the system, sitting on a posting memes and angry things on Facebook and social media and hope we can get there someday will not help. So, buy a big bottle of fucking scotch, 
lot of blood of joints and sit down and relax and vote for Kamala Harris. You know how to celebrate it and I will not, but you will never have an option to celebrate anything if Trump the fascists get elected. This is strong, but Trump tells the truth.